But uh, we have a fox on All screen. Right. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, Santiago is playing fox. And this is something we haven't seen in a while and something that is beautiful. Santiago, people didn't really catch wind of it, but Santiago got ninth at I'm Not Yelling, only losing to Leffen and I want to say, like, to you 2 King, maybe that might not be right, but he did incredibly well. And then, of course, at... Oh, it's KK. Oh, KK, that's right. Oh, no. I but, don't know how I know that, but... But that's right, because that's how KK made top eight at I'm Not Yelling. Yeah. But, uh, and then, uh... Yeah, his fox is a force to be reckoned with. And, you know, the Swedish, you know, very s steadfast uh, player. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's the best adjective I can form. Yeah, it's a good um, one. He hasn't looked oh. stellar against Fox lately. I've been watching him against Slox, um, and Slox has manhandled him the last two tournaments. That that up tilt by was so 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 smart. He managed to mix up Swedish's DI and get a a up air after it, where I don't think up smash would have killed. Yes. But a uh, good conversion from Swedish there. Swedish is very clean. Yes, that that's another good word to describe him. Like doesn't do anything unnecessary. Everything yep. is deliberate. You won't really see like questionable decisions or decisions where like, why did you do that? So you're just like, I don't know. Right. Um, not not very Swedish. Oh, if that needle had hit. Okay. And again, that's another little mini optimization that uh, that Santi pulls out there. Instead of just going for up smash, he goes for down tilt up air. Yes. Ooh, shield grabs. Good DI there to prevent the slap. Yeah. Oh. Still living. What a great recovery. Oh, another shield grab though. I'm not sure if Swedish is spamming it or he's just recognizing on reaction. When... All right, so Swedish brings it back after first stock not going in his favor. <laughs> Swedish nodding his head didn't want that. No, never want that. Uh, oh, I feel like he could have up smashed that. He could have done many things. Yeah, that was a little, a little questionable. That was a shine. Oh, yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, more shield grabs. Good wait. I'm having a really hard time getting this kill. That should be it, though. Yes. Forty percent puts Santi out of um, out of crouch cancel percentage. Um, very important uh, milestone. Ooh. He just waited to see what Swedish was going to do. I think waiting for a tech actually, but it worked out anyways. Kind of funny there, Swedish fishing for a spot dodge. See Sante just holding shield and gets a grab anyway. Ouch. Yeah. Wake up or tilt. <laughs> Again, sure you can. Okay. Living because it's Streamland. Uh huh. Is he gonna go to the ledge? No. Nope. And Santi using Bear. Oh, that was not what he really wanted, but using Bear there because he knows that Smash won't quite kill. He just wants to continue the edge guard. Is that gonna be it? Yes. Yes. Game slightly becoming closer, um, stock by stock. Santi playing a little bit more safe. Yeah, you see him dash dancing and uh, wave dashing back a lot, shooting the gun. That dash attack was a little risky, but it ended up... Well, maybe it didn't work out. Okay, this is it. Oh, what an angle. Are you taking your mango? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> All right. That's it for game one. Clean win for Swedish. Okay, wait. Let, let me think. Okay, so the Mewtwo King is... When you, so it was a mangle. It was a mangle. By the definitions they both gave, yes. it was a mangle. Yeah. Santi, notorious for his love of Final Destination, will pick it on any character in any matchup. Uh, he counterpicks he counter Foxes here when he's playing Sheik and then doesn't reaction tech chase them. 
And Saki getting caught by those needles. Um, generally, you want to delay your recovery so that you don't hit the horizontal plane of the, of the needle. A little bit late. Ooh, that was a <laughs> risky uh, forward air that could have been stuffed that Saki doesn't capitalize. Will this seal the deal? One hit up air, of course. Very nice. No opportunity to smash the eye. Santi gets caught there. And once again, the walk up or the run up shield waiting for something into grab has been uh, paying dividends. What a what a smart down air there from uh from Swedish Delight. A, a no-win situation from Santiago. Yes. DI either way just ends up making it worse for you. He waits this time. And as soon as you hear poof on the second half of Sheik's up D, if you let go of ledge, you will cover the Sheik if they go to the ledge. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Stringing together little hits. Okay. Like the spacing there not to get shield grab there. Yeah. Oh, tournament winner. Oh. Good dash attack. That was and the only thing he could do from that range. And one thing that uh, Swedish has been doing is he's been attacking a lot from the ledge, and Santi recognizing it punishes it with a back air of his own. Right, he had to jump there. Ooh. Santi's staying in shield a lot right now. It's really, it's really difficult for, um, and really bold for a Sheik to just walk it through. So Santiago, uh, Looked a little touch and go, and then those last two stocks just sort of flew by. Yeah. And admittedly, in game one, um, a lot of Swedish's openings came from poor approaches and poor tech skill from Santi and into getting uh, shield grabs. Yeah, that's true. We did see a lot of that. Okay, so Battlefield, finally. That's uh, frustrating as a Sheik main. <laughs> um, let's see what he gets off this one. Oh, oh he misses. Rare miss. And there, there's so much confidence that goes into that, right? Because you missed the first two. Now you're questioning yourself. It's like, do I go for it? I missed last time. And then your tech chasing just gets worse. And it, it matters against Fox. It's an important decision to have to make. Because if you miss it, you're eating shine, wave shine up smash. Yeah, it's so demoralizing. Oh, Santi just walks up and doesn't do anything. Ooh, that was really good. I want to steal that, actually. <laughs> nice. OK, so Santi started to punish those fairs off the ledge. Yep. Um, I want to see a little bit more um, wave lands on the stage, or maybe you know, re-grab ledge, Shino stall, and then get up at a certain time. Oh, my god. That was a great crouch cancel. Immediately wave dashes in against the shine. Swedish having a lot of control right now. Ah, tournament winner. Wow. Good needles. Oh, no. We've been seeing a lot of them, actually. Yeah. Ooh, that dash attack. Ugh. Okay, that, that's it. that was an ugly nair in all regards. Yeah. I think S Swedish is uh, thinking that, or um, Santi's thinking that Swedish is going to move up once in a while from the corner. But Swedish is like, no, I'll just stand here. Yep. Oh. Oh, catches him going on stage. There we go. He's been opting not to up smash so much. I was a little scared he wasn't going to do it there either. And that, that one shine was needed. I believe 106 is not enough to kill him. OK, well, then there we go. Really nice recovery, though. Uh. And those uh, skirmishes where they're both shielding, Swedish has been the, the quicker finger to um, press grab. Yeah, pretty much every time he's been. Oh, no. Good. All right, last stock for Santi. That was almost a zero to death situation there. He has to make this this uh, not this crouch cancel percentage count. This is when he can just take it back. OK. Oh, oh, he didn't mean to do that. 
he jumped over the needles, but... Ooh, good recovery. All right. Swedish leaning back. He and wanted... Go ahead. Sorry, he wanted the bonus percentage, but he couldn't quite get it. And the thing that's been getting Swedish in a lot of trouble is his ledge play. Oh, yeah. There's lots of fares from ledge and uh, getting punished for them. And Santi can convert. Oh. So oh. at this point, Santi's... I, I hope Santi doesn't approach Swedish from the corner. Or into the corner. Yeah. Rather. Okay. Good okay. double jab. He gets another one. Another one. That's it. Yeah. No DI. Um, well. one chance here. Okay. Make it count. Wow. That was scary. Oh. He can make it back. Now he can. Good stuff to Swedish Delight, taking that 2-1.